Good morning, good morning. We're going to try to do this before the power goes out. We have some of the Hur Hurricane Etta. Is that the right one? There's been so many this year, I don't remember. <laughs> Coming through, and uh, we got some bad storms coming out. So what I'm doing today, which I will fast forward in a bit, is going through, now these are not all of my pages because I came up with about six more titles that I could do, which my book is not full anyhow. I'm so excited about this. It's the little things in life. I really, I am going to do December Daily for me in my album that I bought from Staples that I had like, that I had last year. And I may do a flip through like at the end of December. Um, I know I have a Skylar Hand Christmas one. Christmas Traveler's Notebook that she made that I bought this year. Just a month or two ago. I may use that next year. Um, I just... This inspires me. Nothing else is inspiring me. That's the only... The, that's the bluntest way I can put it. So I've come up with some more titles like Christmas Dinner, which the Cratchits had a big goose and Ebenezer Scrooge brought him a bigger goose and that kind of stuff. I can apply that all to December Daily and make the pages or the plan for the page ahead of time and just pick out a page that I want to do when Allie Edwards puts her video up. If you don't know, um, if I haven't already said, which I think I have, but I can't remember, the class I took on Saturday, this past Saturday, November 7th, I think it was, it's a, it's a paid for class. It was $5 and I have it forever. There was so much information and it was so inspiring and so well organized. I'm not on the design team, obviously, although... <laughs> No, I don't want the constraints of a design team at all. Um, I'm free-flowing here. I'm a hippie. I want my stuff to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Anyhow, those, all those people are a lot younger than me. Um, I'm going to now go through. I know I want to have circles focused, and I know I want to have, and I have a lot of, like, half circles and things like that. Um... And transparencies, I'm still trying to find the transparency that will go on my printer. I thought I had it figured out, but I'm not as smart as I thought I was, apparently. Um, lots of circles and, like, um, journaling spots and things like that. But I want to go through my these cards that I mostly got from Studio Calico subscription that I had that I don't have anymore. Um, and see what I can convert to... And then Kelly Perky subscription, which I don't have anymore. See what I can convert to this project as part of my supplies. So that's my plan for today. So I'm going to fast forward you and talk over, uh, do a voiceover because I don't know how long this is going to take. And I don't know how long the electricity is going to last. So here we go. This is a very laborious chore. And not fun at all. Although I do love looking through all these cards. <clears throat> now that I've watched some of these videos of these ladies that do this a lot. Like Project Life and the story of the week and story of the month and story of the hour and all these other story things. That don't appeal to me. Which are fine. They can do what they want. That's fine. I'm starting to feel their vibe and starting to feel their thought process. I'm watching the movie again. Um, it's, it takes a bit to get acclimated. You can't go into this, or at least I can't, knowing how to do it right away. I'm trying to separate things that I might want to use as a grid and things that I, or a layout map, things by color, things by, uh, things I can cut apart and, um, Things that have already have wording that I'm going to use in one of the spreads. 
There's a Charles Dickens quote, nature gives to every time and season some beauties of its own. That's got to go in there. All right, I have gone through my Allie Edwards stock pretty much that I know of. Um, I have gone through Kelly Perky's and I have gone through L Studio and uh, I think those some of those cards were Allie Edwards too, the three by fours. Way too much. Now I'm going to go through and kind of coordinate because some of these are here for their color. Some of these are here for their um, sentiment. Some are here for the layout. Anyhow, I'm going to go through those. The, prop, the plan is to put like each project into a bag because that's what they did. That's what this one girl does. Uh, Crystal Adonate. I'm not saying her name right. Her last name. And I went down another rabbit hole. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I ended up getting one of Allie Edwards uh, 3x8 binders. 3x8 is not my go-to size. 4x8 is. But there's a trademark on that. <laughs> so, um, Allie Edwards has 3x8, and so do a lot of other companies. And they have the sleeves and everything, and I'm not going to try to use my fuse tool. I'm not great at that fuse tool at all. I bought some extra page protectors, and hopefully it'll be here in the next week or so. Um, there was another place I could have ordered it from. I think Studio Calico. But anything after the 7th of the month ships the next month. So I'm like, okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> so I went to, and Allie Edwards was cheaper and more accessible. And uh, if you ordered the binder, you got some page protectors with it. So I ordered additional page protectors. So it was cheaper in the long run, all the way around. So now I'm going to go through and maybe punch some circles. I want a couple different size circles. And my big circle punch is a lemon. So I have a little one. And I'm going to have to do the other ones by hand. So that's my plan for today. Um, and I also uh, need to go through here. Whoops, where's my planning journal? I need to go through. I found an acetate for Halloween. I need to go through here and find out, say, like, um, how many circles? How many little pieces? How many uh, things? I'm, I'm going to just divide it and treat it like what do you want to call it an assembly not assembly line but production is what Allie Edwards the word she uses but still be spontaneous allow for st spontaneity within the confines of the stuff I put in say like on day 12's envelope no they're not going to be numbered they're going to be themed and I will like put, say, like the ghost of Christmas past. Maybe we'll show up on day two. Or the ghost of, uh, or the goose dinner might show up on, because that's going to be like what I ate in a day. A goose dinner from Charles Dickens. I'm like so excited. Anyhow, I'm going to go back through and now and look through. I'm going to pull out stuff for. I'm going to make a pile of color. I'm going to make a pile of layout possibilities that correspond to what I'm doing here that I've already kind of written up a map for myself and possible colors. I, I, I'm going to do some more. All right. So my thought process is they're all divided. And I don't know if I've already told you this in my voiceover, but... I'm going to use these cards, not all of these, <laughs> for their layout capabilities already printed. And I know I want to do, let's see. The book is coming apart. Okay, so say 
this is a title page and it's got two three by eights on it because it'll have it'll have okay it, it's going to have three by eights on each side so six by eight and I'm going to have to have something on the other side as you open it up, which I think I'll put that quote. Even though it's horizontal, I can cut it in half. Oh, I can't cut it in half, can I? I might photograph it and digitize it and make it smaller. That's what I'll do. Then I can use it twice. Okay, so this is going to be like this. Half of this is this side, this side is this side. And I need a circle. I'm going to collage something right here. But these are going to be two by twos. So I'll have, so say I want to do, and I'm kind of, all of these colors are kind of Victorian-ish looking to me. So say these would not work for the two by, well, I guess they could work. No, these will not work for two by twos. I need an all over color. And I could put this on this side, this. Do I have two of these? I might. All right, so say this is what I will be planning out ahead of time. I might have two of those. And if I do, there'll be the bottom layer of both sides. And... Plan one, foiled. I don't have two of these. Rats. Okay, so let's see. I know I've got it. I got. I've got some blue things that I have two of. Okay, here's an all-over pattern, but that's that, and I really want that. Okay, hold on. I know I have two of these, so we can go with. Although that might be too busy. That's why I'm doing this a month ahead of time, this part. Okay, this might work. This side and this side. Now, these are four by eight. These are Kelly Perky size, so they're actually a little bit bigger. I think they're four and a quarter. Yeah, so what I'll do is cut these down, but I'm not going to cut them down until I get the sleeves. So I want to make sure I cut them the right size because, you know, that could ruin the entire project. So then I will have these in an envelope. Where's one of my envelopes? Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. So, all right, this is the background. And then I need to find a color that corresponds with these because I'll mount perhaps these two photos on that. Since I have plenty of paper, I'm going to because I need to use up some of this stuff. So I need something that I can fit two. Hmm. How big are the photos on a three by eight if you cut it in half? One and a half by one and a half? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It's going to be one side to one side. So it's three, three by three, three by three. Okay. I don't have, so I need to find a coordinating color to mount my photos on. Let's go with this pile here. And I'm, don't forget, I'm thinking Victorian the whole time. Oh, so I can't use my normal bright color combination, but that looks, could that be muted enough for Victorian? That's too much. Pretty, but too much. That could work. I'm going to use that, I think. Some of 
some of these have a specific all I'm doing now is looking for pattern paper the journaling will go on something else no although that is pretty hmm And you know, there's two of these, so I might save these for a background on both sides. Ah, uh, maybe that. The polka dots on the polka dots? Yes, I like that. I need some post-its. I just happen to have a drawer of them. So that'll do that. And then I can collage that morning something here whether it's a victorian lamp uh, a phrase that's used because i don't know how this page will be used whether it's the because i don't have a specific theme for this page whether it's for the goose dinner whether it's for ebenezer scrooge's spa day yes he's gonna have a self-care day because he needs it obviously but that's that. So uh, the collage will come in that day. And theoretically. And I don't have things gathered for that, those kind of possibilities yet, but I will. So I'll add them to this. So I still might keep these. So I'm going to keep these in here. Because I have quite a stack of paper here. But that I'm going to go through and do all of them like that. So over the next couple days, that's what I'm going to be working on with you. Sorry if you're bored. Roll with it. These are just separated by one greens, blues, a layout possibility, and warm colors. All in Victorian type things. I really like this. I don't think I'm going to use these. Because that and that, the collage won't be on It'll be on white. So I'm going to put these back in my stack to choose from down the road. And now the circle, one day I'm going to do all the circles. And I'll add that circle to this when I get there. So I need to, I really, I put these all in my book, but they really need to go in here. I don't want to rip them out of here, though. I'll number them. Only for the sake of corresponding an envelope that's not specifically going to go on day one i'm going to go option one put it in here and then i'll have these project bags that i could just pick one whatever ally decides and work on it right right hopefully <laughs> thanks for watching bye